Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to be doing an overview of the ribbon inside of our Excel program. The Excel ribbon is a row of tabs and icons at the top of the Excel window that allows you to quickly find, understand, and use commands for completing a certain task. Now when we look at the ribbon inside of Excel, we see that it is made up of four basic components tabs, groups, dialog launchers, and command buttons. At the top of the Excel ribbon, you have what we call tabs. You have the File tab, you have the Home tab, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review, View, and Help. And you're also able to customize the tab view by adding or removing or even renaming the tabs as you see fit. A ribbon group, as we see here under Home, is a set of commands that are available to you when you click on that tab. And so when I click on Insert, I am shown all of the command buttons available to me inside of that particular group. Now these commands are presented to you in the form of icons. And by clicking on these shortcuts for the command, you're able to perform a specific task. The command buttons that you're going to be presented with when you open up any of those tabs in the ribbon are just a subset or a small subset of the commands that are available to you. To get all of the commands, you can go up here and you can click on what's called the dialog launcher. And that's right here in the corner for each one of these groups. So in each one of these groups, you have a dialog launcher. If you click on that, you're going to be presented with a lot more commands that are not necessarily going to be shown to you inside of the group as a command button. Let's do one more example. So underneath the Home tab, we have the Home group. There's my Home tab. This is my Home group. And inside of this particular group, I have access to a number of command buttons. To get some more commands that I can use to further the alignment, I can just click on that dialog launcher, and that's going to bring up more ways that I can format and align the cells. So in the Excel ribbon, going from left to right, if I click on the File tab, I'm going to be taken backstage and shown the essential file commands that I need to have available to me inside of Excel. And so it's the file command that's going to allow you to save, open, create a new workbook, or you can open up some type of template, and you can click over here to get access to those templates. And over here in the right window pane, you're also going to have access to previously opened Excel spreadsheets. Down here at the bottom, you have options. And this is where you can go in and you can change the layout of your Excel program. You can customize the ribbon, quick access bar, do add-ins, and you can check out the Trust Center. You have the general options. You have formulas, data, proofing, how you want your file to be saved. Now this is where you can go in and you can change the options where your Excel program may be automatically saved at. You may not want it saved up inside of your documents. That's the default location. You may want it saved someplace else, such as up inside of OneDrive or to some external location. Later on in the course, we'll be taking a much closer look at the options for Excel. Next to the File tab, we have the Home tab. This contains the most frequently used commands such as copying and pasting, sorting and filtering. We also have formatting options. Next to our Home tab, we have the Insert tab. Insert is used for adding different objects into a worksheet, such as images, charts, pivot tables, hyperlinks, special symbols, equations, headers, and footers. Now next to Insert, we have the Page Layout tab. Page Layout provides tools to manage the worksheet appearance, both on screen and printed. These tools control the theme settings, grid lines, 
page margins, object aligning, and the print area. Continuing on to the right, we have formulas. Under the formulas tab, we have tools for inserting functions, defining names, and controlling the calculation options. Next, we have the data tab. The data tab provides commands for managing the worksheet data as well as connecting to external data. Next, we have the review tab. The review tab allows you to check spelling, track changes, add comments and notes, protect worksheets and workbooks. And next we have the view tab. The view commands allow you to switch between worksheet views, freezing panes, viewing and rearranging multiple windows. New to Excel 2019 and Office 365 is the help tab. The help tab provides quick access to the help task pane and allows you to contact Microsoft support, send feedback, suggest a new feature, and get quick access to training videos. To customize the ribbon up inside of Excel 2019 or 365, all you have to do is go up to the ribbon, you're going to right click, and from the context menu you're going to select customize the ribbon. From here you can add your own tabs with any command you choose, change the order of tabs and groups, show hide, rename tabs, and a lot more. So inside of this customize the window window, we have the ability to either remove tabs or we can add additional tabs. Now for instance, we currently don't have the tab for draw. If we wanted to add the draw tab, we could use the customize ribbon option, come in here, and we could check this box here that would then put that tab into the ribbon. Another tab that we don't currently have present is the developer tab. Now anytime you're using the customization feature of the Excel ribbon and you want to undo what you've already previously done, well then you have this reset button down here. For instance, let's say I want to add a new group. Well there's the new group right here. If I decide that I no longer want that group or I want to change my mind, I can just go down here to the reset button and I can reset only the selected ribbon tab. And if I get too carried away up inside of this feature, I can reset all customizations back to their default or back to the point that we had the Excel ribbon when we first opened it up. The last feature that we want to look at up inside of the Excel ribbon is the quick access toolbar. And you see that up here at the left. Currently it has auto save. You can turn that on or off. And you have the option to save your work up inside of Excel. But you can customize this as well. If I pull down this arrow right here, you're going to see that I can add commands to the quick access toolbar. And I can remove commands from the quick access toolbar. So you have the ability here to remove the undo, the redo, I can add a quick print button, I have the option to add an email feature to the quick access toolbar, I can sort by ascending, descending, I can also add more commands if I so choose to the quick access toolbar. And if I don't like it being positioned above the ribbon, well then I can just go down here and I can have it show below the ribbon. And here we see it right here. If you would like to reposition the quick access toolbar above the ribbon, just pull down the little arrow and at the bottom of the context menu just select show above the ribbon. Now the last thing I want to show you before we get out of here is how to collapse the ribbon and then make the ribbon reappear. Now to collapse the ribbon, you go over here to the right of the Excel ribbon and you're going to click on this little up arrow right here. That causes the ribbon to collapse. Now you may want to use this as a feature sometime if you need more space. Now to make the ribbon reappear, we're going to go up here and we're going to use this little icon up here at the top right. This allows us to have access to the ribbon display options. If I expand this, we have auto hide ribbon, show just tabs, and show tabs and commands. 
So if I want everything to appear or reappear in this case, I'll choose Show Tabs and Commands. If I open this up one more time, I can show just the tabs. From the menu, I've chosen Auto Hide the Ribbon. To have access to the ribbon, I just take my mouse all the way up to the top, and when the bar turns green, I click on it. And now I have access to the ribbon and all of its commands and tabs. If I would like to uncheck that option, all I have to do is just choose another option. In this case, I'll go back to the default of showing all the tabs and the commands. And so in this short video presentation, we've got to look at the features that are presented to us when we open up Excel and we look at the Excel ribbon. We learned that everything inside of the ribbon is broken down into tabs. Tabs have groups. Groups have command buttons. And we also learned that we can customize our view of the Excel ribbon by adding in additional tabs and removing tabs as we see fit. We're not done looking at the features of the Excel ribbon by a long shot. And as we go through the course and we go through the different sections and the lessons in those sections, we'll be covering more of these features and we will be coming much more familiar with the Excel ribbon. I'm Professor K and I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.